Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be an old-fashioned Kringle candle haul. I have some candles from the buy to get to free sale, and then I also have some candles that I had to pick up literally instantly when I saw them available on the website. I purchased four of the same. If you already know, you already know. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, before I start the haul, I will say I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. And what that means is if you use my code DREWYOCK15, you're able to save 15% off your entire purchase. It is an affiliate link, and I do earn a small commission if you use my link, which at the end of the day helps support the channel, helps me get new candles to review for you guys. So I recently had... they. Kringle recently had a buy two, get two free sale, and there were a few candles that I've been eyeing up getting backups of, or I already have one, and to really fill my space, I like to burn two of the two wicks in two different rooms to really just make that scent super strong. So I had a list, and most of them were in the buy two, get two free sale. The sale is over, but all of these are still available to purchase on Kringle's website. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. And I ended up doing two sets of buy, oh, my eye, two sets of two, two sets of buy two, get twos. So eight candles total and it ended up being like, what, $120, which is like 15 bucks a candle. And these candles burn so long. Again, I said it. I would not be an ambassador representing the brand if I did not love the candles. They are some of the cleanest burning candles I have ever had. I'm working slowly through my other brand of candles lately just to really clear them out and make more room for the Kringles. And now I have 12 more candles to add to my collection and I couldn't be happier. So first off is Sugar Pumpkins and I should have bought this I should have bought two to store for next year. This, the 2023, I know it came out last year, so technically it would be a 2022, best pumpkin fragrance. This fragrance knocks my socks off. The description reads, our quintessential pumpkin fragrance has arrived. Have, has arrived. Sugar Pumpkins is a pumpkin forward with warm notes of brown butter, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla. I know it says there's cinnamon in here, but this is a rich creamy, buttery pumpkin. If you want a quintessential holiday pumpkin fragrance, Sugar Pumpkins is it. I already finished an entire one this year, and this is getting tucked away in my candle closet for next year. It is beautiful if you like that rich, creamy, brown, sugary, buttery pumpkin. You've got to pick up Sugar Pumpkins. It's a 10 out of 10. Definitely was a repurchase and had to pick up some more. All right. Now, as far as these ones go, these ones I already have one of, and I wanted a second one to burn in conjunction. The first one we have is Christmas Coal. Now, I will admit, this is not my favorite fragrance, but I just wanted another one so I could burn them together and use them up. So the notes read, someone's misbehaving on the naughty list. A gift of musky Christmas coal with orange oriental spices, florals, and patchouli is bittersweet. And it is, it's like a very perfumey, almost like an oriental musk fragrance. Definitely not a favorite, but I think once it's burning, it will get a little bit more subdued and like even out. It is definitely spicy. I'm definitely picking up on those spices and the patchouli. It's a very different fragrance. It's definitely not what I would ever seek out, but I did, I do like the label. I think it's fun with the red background and the Christmas coal. So I did pick up another one, again, just to add to my collection to burn through this year. All right, next, I do love this one. This is Aurum and Evergreen, and I'm obsessed with the label on that one. And this one reads, festively blended with pink grapefruit and apple, infused with pomegranate and cinnamon leaf, Orum and Evergreen is a noble scent with ribbons of vanilla snow and Siberian fur throughout. And this is beautiful. This is a slightly fruity Christmas tree fragrance. So if you are not super into tree fragrances like me, and you need your tree blended with other things, 
I think this ornament evergreen is really nice because you're getting so many fruits. You're getting pomegranate, grapefruit, apple. It's so pretty. It is that fruity, fruity tree, which I think would make a really great gifting candle if you're not sure what to get somebody, but they like the more classic look. Like, look how beautiful the label is here with the ornaments and the sparkles. It's so pretty. Yeah, I think this one would really stick out to someone who wasn't super in a treat and you didn't know what they liked or burning it when company is over because it adds just a freshness to the air and a fresh fruitiness. And I knew one candle wouldn't be necessarily strong enough for my big open space. So that's why I picked up another one of that. This one, listen, my favorite tree scent, I think, that Kringle has ever done. I have it in the Three Wick, I have it in this, and I have another backup. Juniper and Laurel. For one, I'm obsessed with the label. I love that beautiful, bright wreath. And the notes read, a wonderful, bright scent. Juniper and Laurel is cool and collected with eucalyptus, silver spruce, and white juniper blended with the crisp, woody notes of cedar, pine, and cone, pine cone, and patchouli. This is amazing. This is tree. This is definitely heavier on the tree, which it says cedar one, and spruce. I love spruce. This is so nice. It's sweet, which again, I think when you smell a spruce tree, it does have that little, little hint of sweetness. And the juniper is also adding a little sweetness. This is for the tree lover, which is so strange because again, I don't love tree scents but I do love it. It encapsulates Christmas. And I think like that week before Christmas when it's super cold outside, everything is so busy and you just want to sit at home in your sanctuary and feel like nostalgic and holiday. I think the Juniper and Laurel is a great choice. So that's Juniper and Laurel right there. Love, love the label. Again, I have a three wick two from last year that I'm excited to pick up or to burn with this. Now this one I have in the three wick and I wanted to add this because I'm obsessed with the label. Christmas cake pops. I talked about it before. Look at how beautiful these fun bright cake pops are. And the notes read, a swirl of merry delight. This fragrance opens with notes of sugared citrus mixed with delicious cake batter, caramel drizzle, and vanilla frosting. The fragrance of Christmas cake pops is a warm and inviting aroma that perfectly captures the holiday season. I think it is a very light citrus bakery, and I know some people think it's more vanilla forward. I think it's more citrus forward cake, which is interesting, but I think even though it says Christmas cake pops, I think this will be perfect for January. January, let me know if you feel like this down below, is the hardest month of the year to scent your home. What do you want? I'm over tree. I'm over Christmas. But I'm not ready for spring and summer. But I want a taste of something different. This is exactly it. It's that right amount of citrus, that little bit of a sugared citrus, in the background of a rich, creamy bakery. It still has the fun Christmassy label on it, but it is a little bit more geared towards the spring and summer with that citrus, but has that warm and coziness of the bakery. This is gonna be in my January burning rotation because I think it will be perfect for that. Now this one I had last year and I thought displayed with my ornaments is Deck the Halls. I love Deck the Halls. This is such a fun label with that bright red ornament and the Christmas lights faded out in the background. The notes are Deck the Halls this season with the warm and comforting aromas of cinnamon stick melded with creamy tonka bean, tangy and spicy cloves, sugared almonds, and smooth amber. Yeah, this is a spicy scent. This it's so interesting because it is spicy with that cinnamon, but you do get the sugar almond in the background. It's real different. I really enjoy it. And I am instantly brought back to just moving in here last year because I burned this in this apartment last year. And I remember how much I enjoyed it. So for someone who doesn't love those like red hot cinnamon fragrances, burning this during the holidays is so nice with the added um, sugared almond note. So really excited for that one. 
And then a brand new candle that was included in the buy two get two is Pomegranate Punch. Now, I will say the Holiday Pop candle from last year was not a fan. I did not like that citrusy fragrance. There was something off about it. So when I saw this Pomegranate Punch and I saw Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom review it and really love it, I had to try it because I, like her, love the flavor, the fragrance, everything about pomegranates. I just hate having to mess with the seeds. The notes read, take a sip of holiday pomegranate punch. Quench your thirst with juicy pomegranate, tart cranberries, crisp apple, sweet cinnamon, and a hint of vanilla. This is so pretty. You totally get that sweet pomegranate, but the pomegranate is that sweet, fruity, almost makes your mouth water. It's so juicy. Pomegranate. Oh, wow, it is pouring. It is so, it is so good. Oh, I love. I don't get the cinnamon. I can get maybe a hint of vanilla, which creams it up. This is beautiful. I think I'm going to burn this in my bedroom to like liven it up during the holidays. It's very celebratory. Very celebratory. I like this. I definitely get the pomegranate and the apple. Yeah. Oh, that is so fun and festive. And I love the packaging. So fun with the festive drink on there. So pick that one up. And last but not least, totally, if I saw this on a shelf, I'd be like, Okay, it's a vanilla bakery. It's a cookie scent. Holiday cookies. I did sniff these when these came in. Oh, wow. Share this festive recipe of rolled sugar cutouts baked with buttery sweetness and frosted with creamy goodness. Pass the plate, please. This literally smells like a sugar cookie. Like one of those holiday royal icing cookies. Like... I'm brought to when I used to order from QVC all the time, the Cheryl's cookies. Cheryl's cookies definitely aren't as good as they used to be, but when they were in their prime, you open that bag, the sugary icing and that delicious, delectable cookie, this is it. This is a total cutout cookie. Now, if you look in the wax here, this is totally normal with 100% soy wax. You're gonna get like those like imperfections. That just makes it even better because you know this is such a clean burning candle. <sighs> this is so good. And I am like, again, it's such a bakery person, but this is, to me, I would think so boring being like a basic sugar cookie, but somehow at the holidays, this works. Now, being that these are not the strongest form of Kringle, the two wicks, I can't imagine this being an incredibly strong performer. So I am going to start this probably in my office or my bedroom and see how it works. If I get great throw, I might move it out and see if it does perform better in a bigger space. But I think for the most part, she's going to live her life in my bedroom and I cannot wait to burn this because this is the ultimate cookie fragrance. So really excited for this one. Again, these are all available to purchase. Now, these babies, unfortunately, are not. Can you, uh, do you see this? What's better than one jelly donut? Two jelly donuts? Do I hear three jelly donuts? No, no, no. Four jelly donuts. You guys, I have talked and talked and talked and raved about this candle. I have no problems saying this is the best candle I've ever had in my life. And that's saying something. I've burned a lot of candles. I reviewed from the highest of the high end to low of the low end. This candle... This is amazing. I, I'm very much broadening my horizons with spices and more fresh and floral fragrances. But I am a bakery lover at heart. And this candle from the label, look at that juicy, bright jelly donut label. And these are the new updated reserve jars. So you're gonna be able to see that flame dancing through 
is perfection. I was so hesitant to burn this because I'm like, oh, it smells like a jelly donut fragrance. It smells like a jelly, yeasty dough, powdered sugar scent. When you light this, it transforms your entire house into the donut shop. And let me tell you, she's strong. I started this in my bedroom. This is a perfect example of like holiday cookies. I started this in my bedroom, blew my socks off, moved it into the office, blew my socks off. I literally, I had the office door open and it was wafting into the other room. So the next time I lit it, I lit it in the living room, knocked my socks off. I could literally burn this for four hours, extinguish it, let it go the entire day. And that four hour burn would just stay in the room forever into the next morning. There is something so magical about this candle and the way it transforms when it gets hot. I never want to be without it. And I was without it for a while, a couple months. And I was afraid that Kringle wasn't going to restock. I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw somebody screenshotted it in the Kringle Facebook group. I was like, is that my jelly donut? I went online. How many? Four. Four. Add to cart. I never placed an order so fast. She is sold out now. It's not even available on the website to look it up. If this ever comes back into stock, run, don't walk. I don't even care if you use my ambassador code. I used my code, save my 15%, because these are pricey. These are $34. This is my favorite candle. And that's how I'm going to end. Get yourself some jelly donut if you ever can. If you got it in this restock, let me know what you think. This candle is perfection. And guess what? It's as strong here as it is here. I'm so happy to have some backups. And anytime I'm feeling like I need comfort, this is it. Hands down. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what Kringle candles you've been trying lately and loving. Leave them down below. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. That way you stay alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Love you guys.